prove the following identities. Now these are the basic trig identities. This will be there in your formula sheet and uh, these questions are taken from a book uh, and this is on page 28. This is question number two. This is the New Lake uh, Trigonometry Workbook uh, IAS 3.3. So let's do this is on page 28 and this is question number 62. So when you look at these type of questions, you have to always have an eye on these identities. So basically what they're asking us to prove is, prove that cot x times sine x is equal to cos x. Okay, so different ways of proving it. So I like to prove it uh, when you have an identity like this. We can change everything into sine and cos. Say, well, what is cot? So let me write the left-hand side. LHS stands for left-hand side. So this is cot x times sine x. So can I write cot x as sine and cos? Well, here it is. Cot is cos over sine. Cot theta is cos theta over sine theta. So cot x would be cos x divided by sine x. And this is times sine x. So this is, if you just know how to identify the identity, this and this gets cancelled, what is left is cos x. And if you know how to do this much, this is a merit level question at NC level 3. So this is your right hand side. So we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side. LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, so let's look at the next question. This is question, uh, question 63 on page 68, sorry, uh, question 63 on page 28. Sec x times sine x is equal to tan x, is equal to tan x. So again, left hand side, left hand side is sec x times sine x. So which identity can you use? I can use, can I convert sec into cos? Well sec is 1 over cos, so in place of sec x, I can write cos x. Sorry, 1 over cos x. So this is 1 over cos x times sine x over 1. This is sine x over 1. So this is basic multiplying the numerator and the denominator. So this is sine x. 1 times sine x is sine x. And cos x times 1 is cos x. Okay, now what is sine x over cos x? We don't have an identity for here. If cot is cos over sine, and cot is a reciprocal of tan, cot and tan are reciprocal, okay, or inverse of each other. So we can write this formula. So tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. This is not given in your formula sheet, but you can make up this formula because tan and cos are, tan and cot are reciprocal. Tan and cot are reciprocal or inverse of each other. So if cot is cos over sine, cot tan would be sine over cos. Now sine over cos is tan, is tan of x or tan x, which is your right hand side. This is enough to get a merit. Okay, the next question. Sec x over cosec x is equal to tan x. So I'm going to write this question, this like this. This is left hand side is sec x divided by cosec x. Many of the, most of the questions can be done by just converting into sine and cos. So sec is a reciprocal of cos. So in place of sec, I can write 1 over cos x divided by cosec. Uh, the full form is cosecant, okay, but I say cosec. Cosecant x is 1 over sine x. Cos stands for cosine, 1 over sine x. So dividing by 1 over sine x is same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So 1 over cos x 
dividing by something is same as multiplying by the reciprocal times it by sine x over 1 okay so this is equal to sine x over cos x and sine x over cos x I hope you know now is tan x which is your right hand side so this is how you set out you always start from your left hand side and you reach your left hand side in some cases it's possible to start from the right hand side and get the left hand side okay the next question cosec x minus 1 times cosec x plus 1 is cot squared x so you can do these questions yourself if you know it you can pause the video now and try to do this this is a slightly different type of question Okay, hopefully you've done it. So, what can we do? So, whenever you have a question like this, you, you can change it to sine and cos. You can change both of them into sine. But instead of that, if you expand it out, cosec x times cosec x is cosec x squared x. This is, cos, this is how you write cosec squared x. And if you expand this out, you should get this. Okay, I hope can I do this there may be one step in between so I've used the formula of a minus b plus a a minus b times a plus b okay now can you see an identity sitting somewhere here which gives you this so you got cos x squared minus 1 so if you look at this identity can you see that cot squared theta cot squared theta is cos x squared minus 1. This is also good to remember. cos x squared theta minus 1 minus 1 is cot squared. So cos x squared minus 1 is cot squared theta, just like that. cot squared theta, cot squared x. You can try to do this by converting this, the whole thing into, this can be changed to 1 over sine, and this can also be changed to 1 over sine. And if you do this, you can also get this result. Okay, try to do, do that yourself. Okay, how can we do this? So this is 6 squared minus 10 squared minus sine squared is equal to cos squared. Okay, so <clears throat> let me write the left-hand side again. So it's always good habit to write the left-hand side and stop and think. So this is 6 squared x minus tan squared x minus sine squared x okay so i want you to look at the identity one of the identity where from where you can get sine 6 squared minus can you see 6 squared minus tan squared from the identity well if you look at this identity what is 6 squared minus tan squared 6 squared minus tan squared is 1 so I'm going to write 1 in place of this. So this is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Okay. Now, what is 1 minus sine squared x? You have to look at a different identity. In this identity, if you write 1 minus sine squared, or if you make cos squared the subject, can you see cos squared is 1 minus sine squared? So this that's your answer that this is equal to cos squared x which is equal to right hand side that's just as it is uh, it's so simple at times if you can identify the identities okay the next question cos cos sine times cos minus sine so let me write the left hand side cos plus sine cos x plus sine x times cos minus sine. So let's expand this out. So if you expand it out, you'll have cos times cos is cos squared x. Okay, then if you expand this out, this will be 
minus cos times sine plus cos times sine. That will get cancelled and then you've got minus sine squared x. Cos squared times, sorry, cos squared x minus sine squared x. Now, if you look at the right-hand side, I want the right-hand side in terms of 1 minus sine squared. So now I should be thinking, can I write this cos squared in terms of sine squared? Well, what is cos squared in terms of sine squared from this identity? Well, that is cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So in place of cos squared, I can write 1 minus sine squared x. 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. And sine squared minus sine squared minus sine squared is 2 sine squared. So this is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Just like that. And I think this is the last question. 1 over sine plus x. Do we have one more? No, that's all. Okay, so 1 over sine plus 1 over 1 plus sine plus 1 over 1 plus 1 minus sine is 2 6 squared x. So you can pause the video. So I'll directly do the first step. I'll not write, repeat the last step. Uh, I'll not repeat left hand side. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let me write it. 1 over 1 plus sine x minus, sorry, plus 1 over 1 minus sine. So here, what can we do? So simplifying this fraction, you can say you can cross multiply. So 1 times 1 minus sine is 1 minus sine. You got a plus here, so you don't need to worry. Plus 1 times 1 plus sine is 1 plus sine. Over, you have to multiply the denominators, which is 1 plus sine times 1 minus sine. 1 plus sine times 1 minus sine. I'm doing this slowly so that you can pause the video at any point and do the next step yourself. Okay, so what can we do? So what will be cancelled here? Well, this and this gets cancelled. So you have got 2 over 1 minus sine squared x. Now, what is 1 minus sine squared x from the identity? 1 minus sine squared x is cos squared x. So, this is equal to 2 over cos squared x. We're almost there. So, this I can write this as 2 times 1 over cos squared x. And what is 1 over cos x? 1 over cos x is secant of x or sec x. So this is 2 times 6 squared x. And that's your right hand side. So this is equal to 2 6 squared x is equal to your right hand side. So this is a slightly difficult question for merit, but if you do enough practice, it's easy to get these type of questions right for a merit. 